Spring has sprung at Jericho. There's so much to talk about. We thought we'd show a video. From this stuff we got last year to an expanded versions of it, these are all lanterns. These little candle things out in the yard you fill with your tiki oil. From Bird of Paradise to Saguaros to Barrow Cactus. Just some really awesome, awesome stuff that we'll never get through today. So we're gonna highlight a few other things, talk about what you can do, talk about what maybe you wanna to wait to do, talk about some stuff indoors, some stuff outdoors. Your daffodils are probably coming up in the yard, mine are. If you've forgotten that you plant daffodils in the fall, we've got them for you right now. These could go outside. So if you forgot to plant tulips, daffodils, or hyacinths right now, here's a few of those. So you don't forget this year, if you're going to plant, Gladiolas, dahlias, lilies, they are here already. You can start dahlias inside now and put them outside around Mother's Day. Depending on the weather, Mother's Day will definitely be safe to do that. The rest of this should be able to go in the ground right now without any problem. We move over to here. Potatoes and onions are in. St. Patty's Day is coming. It's about a month away, but sad. St. Patty's potatoes, easy way to remember to get your seed potatoes in. So we've got a lot of seed potatoes in. Just the beginning of, of spring. Spring has sprung at Jericho, as I said. We've got trucks coming in every single day. We're gonna show off a few more of our new wares and talk about what you can do safely and what you wanna maybe wait to do for a little bit. So. Things you can do now and should be doing now, and I've already started, is putting some fresh pansies in as you're looking at me over this beautiful flats of pansies. To my right, which would probably be your left on camera, is the earliest blooming shrub there is. That's winter jasmine blooming in town right now. Beautiful early bloom. It's mid-February. Things are in bloom. Things are coming on. This stuff is all okay to do now, and I think what gets confusing for people is either you want to do everything or nothing, and there's a whole lot right in the middle of that lane you can do. Pansies, the next, shoot, next scene you'll see will be cool season vegetables, and I'll tell you what I put in in my yard and what you can start to put in in yours. Before we go there, as I step into the shade and screw with the camera guy, this is a wall of water. That's what this thing is. We put tomatoes in here about two weeks ago you're not gonna believe how big they've gotten. We did this from seed. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Those have been in here less than three weeks. They've been outside, they'll take the frost with this wall of water. I'm gonna wait and buy bigger plants, but if you're wanting to do seed, you surely can do that. This, this has been less than three weeks. So there's a video on wall of waters, me filling one up and showing you how they work. Put it out a week before you plan on planting it. Warm up your soil. I intend to, I've been intending to for the last couple of weeks, get mine filled up. I haven't done it yet. Hopefully this week I get them up. Set on the ground for a week before you're planting them. I intend to plant my tomatoes in the next two weeks and do what I did last year and have BLTs with the lettuce and the tomato coming out of the garden at the same time. You have to use a wall of water to make that happen. By the time it's hot, lettuce is done, but and tomatoes are coming, so you gotta, you gotta trick them a little bit. Start early with a wall of water. So there's at least 40 or 50 flats of vegetables in here, and every single thing in here can go outside right now. We're gonna tell you what can and what can't. We've got basil inside. Basil doesn't wanna go outside till it's hot. I wouldn't put basil out till May, but we have it, and we're selling it. The guy will be in here tomorrow. You see a few empty holes here. We're filling this up every single week. When I said I'll tell you what I can't, what I planted and what you can or can't plant, I planted lettuce. I planted this red lettuce. I planted the mixed lettuce. I like planting leaf lettuces. When we had our fairy garden seminar this weekend, I just came in here with kids and said, you want to eat some lettuce? And they're like, sure. So we just picked lettuce right off the plant and started eating it. The kids were enthralled. They were like, didn't, you know, most kids don't know where milk comes from or where lettuce comes from. So lettuce, spinach, broccoli, uh, cauliflower, just the, the sky's the limit. Strawberries can go in right now. Most of your herbs can go in except for your basil. So there's plenty you can do and a few things you can't. I surely don't want to discourage you, but know that we've got two solid months of 
freezing temperatures to come. We're not going to freeze for the next week or 10 days. I think a week from Tuesday it looks like it might freeze, but this will this stuff will take a frost. So come to the pros. Come to us. Ask us. We're here this time of year to answer your questions. We know if you're not from around here because you're willing to plant basil or tomatoes outside right now, we're going to tell you. We might even be a little brutal about it. There are certain things you don't want to do yet. You don't want to feed trees and shrubs. It's too early. But you surely can fertilize your lawn and get it green if you're ready to do that. You can do pre-emergence. You should be getting ready to do weed prevention and dethatching and aerating and get your system, water systems hooked up and ready to go with weather like this breaking all kinds of records in the upper 70s today. Everybody's got the itch. Let us help you scratch it. So I just put one of these in my truck to take home. These six pack pansies and violas are perfect. I have whiskey barrels in front of my property and the whiskey barrel pansies look pretty rough. They've wintered, uh, they're alive, they're gonna come back. I tried to put a bigger pot in and I didn't have room. So I took some six packs and I like the violas. I use these just because they're nice and, and small and dainty. I love the mix here of the colossal or, or super majestics. What's cool about a six pack is you got one little cell, let's find one with a bloom on it, where I can then in between pansies that are waiting to come back and look good, take one cell like this with a really thin shovel, that's why I grabbed this, dig a little hole in between something and stuff something in without having to dig a great big hole. So we've got pansies in every size we carry them from four inch to six packs to four packs. And now's the time to put them in. You're going to get more bloom, and we've talked about this in the past too. Pansies are really poorly named, or people being called pansies should, should be called something else, because this thing is going to bloom till well beyond Mother's Day. It's going to give you more color than most anything else you could do without the worry of frost or weather or covering things up. We have geraniums. We have other things you want to be careful of, but pansies probably one of the best choices you could make for the next couple of months. So back to what, what you can and what you can't do. What you can do right now is plant trees and shrubs. Get ahead of it. Get ahead of the wind. Get these things in the ground before they leaf out. They'll spend the next month or so growing some roots, being ready for spring winds and summer heat. The earlier you get this in the ground, the better off you'll be. We just got one of the biggest shade tree orders we get of the year, both stores. We got a full semi, half a truck per store. Jen and I came in on Monday, which we typically take off, to help unload all these trees behind me. There's a few evergreens and fruit trees. We're doing some fruit tree orders right now. I put these two right here in front of me because the novelty of it is so fun. This is a four in one pear and this is a four in one apple. Every tag you see is a different kind of apple tree. So you got four different types of apples, each branch being a different tree. You got four different types of pears. Yes, it's doable. The graft that branch is that kind of pear. This branch is this kind of pear. So that branch, as it grows, will produce Bartlett pears. And this one will produce another type. Every branch produces a different pear, and the apple's the same way. So kind of fun novelty things. I really like doing this. You want to be careful pruning, though, because if you happen to cut out that branch, you've cut off your yellow delicious. So, way too much to cover in one little video, the first of spring. Here we go. Spring is sprung at Jericho as I started at the beginning. Well, in the same way. Let the professionals help you. That's why we're here. We know what to tell you to do and what not to do. I guarantee you'll have a good time. People coming in just looking for ideas. We're happy to have you come in, answer some questions for you from new organic lines that we've carried, that they've added some new stuff to, like Holy Mackerel and Kelp Me Kelp You, can you believe it? Great marketing. To lighting, if you want to do your lighting stuff indoors, we've got a whole new selection of lighting for growing, from uh, fluorescent bulbs to stands. You can see the light and how attractive it makes those plants. But these lights are for growing. They're specific grow lights for specific usages. So come in, let us help you. We're glad that you're watching the video. Seminars are posted. Check them out. Come back every week. If you're not on the website or if you're not on our email or a loyal customer, I highly recommend you sign up. Both of those are extremely good values to you guys. We want to share with you, our special customers, 
Thanks for being part of my day and allowing me to be part of yours. Come in, have a hoorah of a time. Hoorah!